think one of the most important things about being a film fan is being able to admit that opinions change and your views of films change and the mood you are in when you watch a film can strongly impact the overall perception. I watched Wreck-It Ralph for the first time a good few years ago now and I remember thinking it was okay, not very interesting. And then a few years ago when it came out I watched Ralph Breaks the Internet and loved it. So I decided to go back and watch Wreck-It Ralph and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I don't know if I was just in a bad mood at the time or it wasn't the kind of film I was hoping for. But whatever the reason, Wreck-It Ralph was the second viewing definitely changed my opinion. So this film was released in 2012, directed by Rich Moore. Fantastic voice cast. We could be here all day going over the voice cast, but John C. Riley is, of course, Ralph. Jack McBrayer as Felix, Jane Lynch, Sarah Silverman, Mindy Kaling, Joel Trulio. Utterly incredible. And to be honest, the first time I watched this, most of those names wouldn't have meant very much to me. John C. Riley definitely, but Jack McBrayer and Joe Latrulio, I discovered in more recent years through uh, 30 and 99 respectively. So that just gave it a little bit something extra. But the narrative I also love, Ralph is in a video game. I'm sure you're aware of the premise, but he lives inside a video game and is fed up of being the bad guy all of the time. He wants to be a good guy or at least spend some time with some of the other relatively good people. But nobody will accept him. One of my favourite scenes is when they go to the like the support group for the bad characters. Absolutely loved it. Love seeing all the other video game elements. And then he meets Penelope. And he spends a lot of time with Penelope. He was this very young, hyperactive girl from Sugar Rush. And this is basically a racing car game, but the entire thing is made of candy and sugar and sweets and all things nice and it is stunning and I absolutely love it and I wish it was a real game. I mean I'm sure it probably is a real game now. They've probably made it off of the back of this. It's also probably based on a real game but it's beautiful. Um, Ralph wants to try and be seen as a good guy. Meanwhile Vanellope who has a glitch and isn't allowed to take part in the main race wants to take part in the race. Will they both get what they want? Will they form an unlikely friendship? I'm not going to say what happens, but I think it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It's great fun. It's visually absolutely gorgeous. The way they mix the different styles of video games. We have the more contemporary styles from the video game that I can't remember, but you'll know which one I mean. The kind of war action based one. The one the character Jane Lynch voices. And then the bright, fun Sugar Rush, and the more kind of 80s, 70s style arcade games, and Qbert and Pac Man, and everything. Everything blends together so well. I thought it was absolutely stunning. If you've seen it before and didn't like it, give it another go. I am glad I gave it another chance. I'm glad I saw the sequel to then inspire me to go back and see this. It definitely improved the second time.